who doesn't love a good wrestling show? There's one happening this weekend, and better yet, it's for a great cause. To honor Ranji, the founder of Ceasefire Indie, he was killed in a shooting last month. And with us this morning on Daybreak, Jordan Rose. He is the owner and founder of Naptown All Pro Wrestling. Good morning to you, my friend. Good morning. How are you, sir? I am good. Even better now that I'm talking to you about the great thing you're doing to honor Ranji. What made you want to partner together and get this going? Well, uh, Naptown All Pro, a company for about two years now. Um, I've been doing wrestling for about eight years, and I reconnected with the city a couple years ago, realized how bad the violent crime problem is. So I got with a bunch of my wrestling friends, uh, wrestlers from all across the country, invested in the vision, and we started Naptown All Pro. We focus on running in low-income neighborhoods to try and cut down on gun violence, and a big inspiration for that was Mr. Ron G. Uh, Never had a chance to really talk with him, but I was at countless cease in, ceasefire indie events, and his passing really impacted us. So we wanted to do something in his honor that was a little bit different than what we usually do. So tell me about some of the things that you took away from his work to you know, advocate for people in the community and to prevent gun violence. Well, I am a uh, lifelong Eastsider, so I'm right in the middle of the things that impact the issues that people are talking about. And as someone who grew up on the east side, one of the bigger issues as far as gun violence goes that I realized is that after 6 p.m., nothing happens. There's nothing for people to do. There's nothing for people to look forward to, especially for someone under the age of 18. So I wanted to start this company, like he started Ceasefire Indie, to do something immediately. Thoughts and prayers can only get us so far. I want to do something with action. Kudos to you for that action. And in the time that you started your organization, it has really been taking off. What would you say, you know, or how would you rank, I should say, the current wrestling scene here? Oh, I say often that Indianapolis is a wrestling town. We just don't know it yet. Uh, with the Royal Rumble coming in uh, January, February, yeah. and WrestleMania coming next year, people are going to start figuring out that not only is there a space for wrestling in a grand sense, like a franchise, but also different wrestling promotions popping up all over the place. So I would give it a solid 8.5 out of 10, but by next year, 10 out of 10. Okay, Jordan, before we go, one last thing. Show me the hat because you just made a promise here on Daybreak before the show. Those hats, they can be purchased. Proceeds will be going to Ranji yes. in support Ron of Ranji, Ceasefire, Indy, these hats that we have on our website, you can purchase them. I will make sure personally that these get in the hands of Ranji, their family, and Ceasefire, Indy. Wonderful, my friend. Thank you. Now, before we go, we want to tell you, of course, how to attend the event. It is Sunday, August 18th. If you take a look at your screen, we've got all the info there. That is at Ellenberger Park. East St. Clair Street starts at 2 in the afternoon, and tickets are only $5. Where else can you go to get a show like that for 5 bucks? Beats me. Only at your spot. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's where. All right, my friend Jordan, thank you for stopping by the show. If you need a recap, all the information will be on our website, wishtv.com.